Ahem. Today. I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago. In a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales, and when the town site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in, that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport, the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand year door starts here. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I came all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, it seems that this town is a very, um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy! Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy! Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well, um... Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble of heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Oh. I know. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I'm sure that whatever is in there would be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, alright. What's the harm? I'll try to open it. Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, and welcome to my Let's Play of Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In my opinion, one of the greatest games Nintendo has ever created. Uh, I'm gonna go on and on about this game as we play, how great it is, but uh, let's just skip that for now. Let's kind of dive on in. I don't have any on this save file. Uh, we're gonna make a new one. Uh, man. I've been wanting to do a Let's Play of this game ever since I started my channel on YouTube. And here I am. Uh, it's definitely not going to be a short game, but you know what? I'm ready uh, with the new Paper Mario game getting announced recently. It's actually pretty much time that we went back to the past and played this gem. Uh, so we're just going to make a new game. Uh, of course, I'm going to do Mighty. Seems pretty straightforward. Okay, fits. Okay, I'll, I'll go into what this game is all about as we go. Uh, no need to sort of fill your heads with that now. A little early for that. Kind of let it play out like a story. <laughs> Mail call! <laughs> Man. I love how Mario just has Mario plastered on the... His house, like, people need to know. I'm Mario, bitch. <laughs> Doesn't have Luigi on it. 
Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem. Now, let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mis mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go and find treasure all by myself, I thought you could come help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach. What do you think? What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map here with a letter. Check it out. And here's the beautiful map of this game. I love the art on this map. By the way, I'm playing this on the GameCube. This is not an emulator. This is straight from the OG GameCube. Obviously, it would be much simpler to do this game with emulation. That way you get like 1080p. But I don't know. I think there's kind of a charm in playing on the uh, original hardware. But here we go. We begin our adventure in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Oh, I had to press start. <laughs> Been, uh, it's been at least five years since I played this game, so it's not all going to be immediately um, in my head as to what to do, but we'll find our way along just fine, I'm sure. Prologue. A rogue's welcome. I'll do my best to add voices to the characters, by the way. Uh, everyone's going to sound a little bit different. I can't do Peach's, like, girl voice. I think I'd probably destroy my voice trying to do a girl's voice, so... That'll be the one kind of exception where it's kind of normal. But everyone else, I'll do my best. Excuse me, sir? Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Indeed it is. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Okay. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you don't want to disembark here? I did tell you all the uh, sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry. You say there's a princess waiting for you? <laughs> Is that so? Or, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Just flip, breaks the fourth wall and flips around. Uh, yes. Okay. So, this is Paper Mario. Uh, as you can tell... Oh, oops. I fell in the water. That's... <laughs> uh, this world is very much paper-like. Mario is flat, as you can see when I turn. Uh, it's very pop-up book aesthetic. Uh, you'll see that more and more as we go throughout the game, but that's that should be a no-brainer based on the title. Let's go ahead and talk to someone. Oi, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so I've a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. <laughs> well, that's true, I suppose. Hit this block to save all the events you've experienced so far. Even if your game ends, you can continue it from the last point you saved at. Indeed, that is true. Anytime you find a block like this in your adventure, be sure to save. Save all game progress? Yes. Pretty straightforward. Uh, save blocks are a staple of, I assume, all Mario games. I haven't played the two newest Paper Mario games because I heard they were terrible. And they look terrible. But I'll get into that more of a rant later on. What do you want, pal, huh? A princess in pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I'd remember a princess. Probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Owe you money? Or is she your girlfriend? <laughs> hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Uh, I said that like a manly voice. It's for Go Goombella. Uh, Goombella, okay. Oh, calm off at you, airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. 
I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know, right now. Never. I don't want- I don't have to, anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right with a sassy lass like you met with an untimely demise. Buh, 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 ha, <laughs> ha. Boys, we're taking this fire- firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. No, no, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Okay, well, let's go help her out. Let's go. I, I know it's weird, but let's talk to the other people first. Huff, hoof, arf, hoof, huff. Out of the way, you scallywag. Move your ever loving bones. Alright. Like I'd go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you. Hmm, not likely. Huh, what? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? <laughs> I was like, what? Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old Karumpa Bomb. Okay, here we go. Our first battle of the game. This is an RPG turn-based game. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak, freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Okay, one second. We'll make a quick adjustment. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to change my TV settings, but now we're good to go. All right. So, uh, in Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, we have a few options when we attack. Uh, it's turn-based, by the way. We have us and then our partners after us, and then the opponent goes. Uh, we have our hammer, pretty straightforward. You can use your hammer on an opponent. Jump, you can jump on an opponent. And then you have your items, as well as some tactics you can do. Uh, defend, if you want to prepare for an enemy attack, or run away. We can't run from this battle, but... Uh, uh, the reason you would want to do a hammer over certain other enemies, let's say the enemy has spikes on their head, you don't want to jump on them, you'll want to use a hammer, uh, and you want to jump on them if maybe they have some sort of shield in front of them where a hammer would be blocked, you know, that's... We'll kind of go through that as we go throughout the game, but let's just start with the hammer on big ol' Lord Crump. And on screen will pop up different commands as to how to attack. Sweet! You know that hurt! Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look! Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Also, you can dodge if you click A at the right time. Uh, they don't tell you that right now, but uh, I'm a seasoned vet of this game. I, I've probably beaten it twice, uh, maybe three times as a kid. Uh, like I said, it's been quite a few years since i played, though. Let's go ahead and keep wailing on Lord Crump. I'm worried to jump on him because I think those horns on his head might count as horns. I don't really remember. You've got him on the ropes. Come on, keep on wailing him. Keep wailing on him. Oh, okay, I missed that one. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to the, uh, how to do that again. I'll try jumping on him, just to see. Okay, so those horns don't count. And he's defeated. You did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points! Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points and you win battles. When you get 100 points, you go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? And there we go, guys. That is our first victory of the Let's Play. Buh, 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 uh. You got a couple of decent shots in, I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! <laughs> okay, he's brought in his, the rest of his goon army. Punish him! There's a lot of enemies, but... <laughs> Quick, this way! We just snuck out. <laughs> Phew, what a bunch of loons! Let's just sneak out of here, what do you say? Alright. I think I, I think if I go in here, they'll say something. Nope. It's just them kind of <laughs> being dumb and not noticing. <laughs> I love, like, games that are comically like that. It's great. But, huh? <laughs> Stop! Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? <laughs> of course, they're just a bunch of baboons, I don't know. Oh crud, they bolted. I should give him more of a kind of aloof voice. I'll try that again in the future. 
Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I have just I have just got to give you a little reward. Aw. A little smooch on the cheek. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know this place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. Look at those piantas in the background. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko! What you got there? Oh my gosh, is this... Is, isn't that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? Great hoogly boogly, if it isn't Mr. Master Mario. <laughs> They're just getting mugged in the background. <laughs> Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? Ho ho! So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intri intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Mm, well, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot and fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eyes off her for a moment, but as soon as, she sh as, soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her, surely. But I know my place, Master Mario. And that is not it. I'll leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it. Particularly if you find your HP, hard points, running low. Just drop on in! Oh ho ho! <laughs> Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. <laughs> Huff, I say. <laughs> this game's humor. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always gets napped by Bowser, the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone, then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh, oh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors... One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to the Princess Peach. Great, we're all good, then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella joined your party. Goombella's abilities, a primer. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Rogueport Plaza. It is the center of town and the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. That's a, that's Goomther, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Gabilla can give you hints uh, hints when she answers, so ask her information often. And of course, Gumbella can be quite helpful in battle, too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies of the, of the nasty head bonk. She can also look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. Very, very cool. Gumbella is a great companion. She's awesome. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I uh, don't know exactly where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. <clears throat> okay. So, we are in town and we have a companion. Uh, so Rogueport is a very large place. Well, I say very large. A relatively large place with a lot of stuff kind of going on in it. Um, I should say, first and foremost, before we go any further, this is not going to be a 100% uh, 
let's play of the game. Uh, what what qualifies as 100% is uh, that girl right there. Uh, she You can get recipes for her. That's one of the things you collect in the game. Also, there's a thing called badges, uh, as well as a couple other minor things. But uh, for the most part, this is going to be a casual let's play of the story mode. Uh, so we're going to be doing most of what this game has to offer, just not kind of going for the 100% like quote-unquote stuff. Uh, but we are going to be beating the game, obviously. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and save, after all that lengthy talking. Honestly, we're going to be saving a lot, um, just because it's free. Alright, so we're going to go find out where the professor lives. Let's go check out the inn. Let's talk to some of these people. Oi! I used to sail around the world and run wild in my younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. Good for you, pal. Can you take a hint, pal? Dot 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 means scram. Don't talk to me. Ah, what are you doing? Sneaking up on a person as he sings most jovially. Who, me you ask about? Ah, I am called Flavio. Okay, I gotta give this guy an accent. I am, how you say, a traitor. The richest man in Rogueport. We'll talk to that guy more later, I'm sure. Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Podley's Place, a humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. By the by, there's an inn upstairs where you're weary. Go on up and relax. Okay, so this is where the professor... Uh, not the professor. Uh, the old dude. What's his name? Uh, I can't remember it already. <laughs> uh... Oh, where in the world could the princess have gotten to? This is quite troubling, indeed. Alright, well, let's go, uh, leave this guy alone for now. Let's go find the... The professor, not the, uh... I'm already freaking... Uh, Toadsworth, that's his name, Toadsworth. <laughs> I said it once and I forgot it already, but, uh... Okay, I know, I know basically where to go. If I'm not mistaken, the professor... Oh! Oops, pardon me, sucker! Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you! <laughs> Uh, Mario, you got you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. What a dirtbag. That is so lame. Ugh, I hate this town. <laughs> well, we have an enemy already. That mugger took our took our half our coins. Hey, you big old rube. I ain't, it ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go nuts and attack. Be careful. Live longer. Okay, Spock. You prosper too. Alright, so I believe the place we want to go is right here. Alright. Gotta make up a name for this crazy old man. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly! What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes! You! Now you, uh... I've seen your face before, yes, that face. Wait for it, just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence! I'll get it right. Um... It's not Gumbriel. Uh, it's not Eliza Goom. Hmm. Hmm. Aha! I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at U Goom. Go Goombas! Of course I remember you, not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? <laughs> Just doesn't know who Mario is. Mario, Professor, he's Mario, you know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies, I'm such a bookworm, I haven't I haven't a clue what this, what's hip right now. <laughs> in any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor, frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to, stu to study that very subject. But why do you, tykes, want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that mostly su you know that most say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it is an empty chest. 
So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But I'll agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystals to the thousand year door. You mean the crystals? Wait, I'll, I need to realize she was talking. Sorry, I'll get I'll get this down pat as we go. You mean the crystal stars? That, that old saying that super elderly people pass down? <laughs> Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesteryear yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that if the mag this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct, and the thousand year door is supposedly here beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Humana <laughs> bubba. Wait, okay, okay, I'm trying to read this. Humana bubbity. Wait, humana. Humana hubbity hubbit. Humany hubbity. Hubbida. Hippity hoobity. Hamala, Huffala, Hoofala, really? You, you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! You, son, are my hero! You're the greatest, fantastic, wonderful, even! With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this a lot before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Goombella, Mario. Off we must go, this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. Okay, off we go. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> uh, we can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. I wonder how long it'll be before my throat gives out, <laughs> voicing all these people. It'll be fun to see. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two know about your action commands, don't you? Yes, I'm not going to go through uh, Franklin's tutorial. Really? A master, are you? Well, maybe you ought to practice them just once to be safe. No, thanks. A bold young lad, aren't you? Well, very, very well, then. Down we go. To stand on the pipe and tilt down to enter it. Okay, well... I didn't mean to talk to him. Okay, so Mario's done this many times. Let's go down. To the ruins of an old city that we may have heard in the epilogue of this, uh, this tale. Let's go ahead and save. Ah, uh, this, this theme brings back memories. Ah, uh, man. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see what we can do. I don't think we should go this way. <clears throat> let's go left. Some creepy individual over there. Okay, so uh, I'll come back here later. That's sort of a... Uh, I'll just tell you now. So basically that place is if you ever get lost, you can go and talk to her. And she'll kind of give you a general direction of where to go, if I remember correctly. So we definitely did need to go right. Hey, hey man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? What's up, baby? Why don't you go hang out with us for a while? We feel real nice. Man, what's a fine looking Goomba look doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel totally barfing. <laughs> like totally barfing. Now get out of here. <laughs> I love Goobella, dude. She's just so, like, sassy and, like, smart and cool. Ouch, that was cold. What, you're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get them. Alright, we got our first group battle. A Goomba, a Spiny Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the Spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that and you're the one who'll take the damage. The Paragoomba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach him. You'll have to jump for him. 
All right, so that's kind of what I was saying uh, earlier. Uh, there are certain enemies you can't jump on, certain ones you can't hit the hammer, so... I'll tell you about something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like it, Gumbella. Don't forget that. All right, well, let's dive on in. All right, so Goombella can only really attack the two on the sides, uh, and she can't take out the one in the middle. So Mario, it's best. Okay, so I'm going to use Goombella to take out this guy first. And that should take him out. Also, I should probably scan the enemies. Uh, when you scan the enemies with uh, Goombella, they actually reveal their health in all future battles, so I might have to do that. Let's go ahead and take these two out first, though, and then I can scan with Gumbella on the flying one. Blocked correctly, cool. Let's go ahead and use Tattle. Yeah, some things like that. Like, a lot of the attacks in this game all have various inputs you need to do, and that's one of the things that really make this game a lot of fun, uh, gameplay-wise. It's not just an RP like turn-based RPG. Um, actually, it does have a little bit like of a game within a game to it, which is pretty sweet, not gonna lie. All right, so now that we scanned him, uh, in all future battles, we'll be able to see his health. I'll make sure to get the other Goombas later. Um, we just had to take him out so we didn't get pummeled too much. Owie! Yeah, get out of here, hoodlums. Ha, huh, later on, losers. That was, that felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from. They'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them on the field. Attack, su atta attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Uh, so what he's saying right there is basically, let's say there's a Goomba kind of walking out here. You can just kind of jump on him beforehand. You'll get a first strike during the fight. Uh, it's a very nice, very, very cool thing to do. Um, okay, so it looks like I'm going to need to take this platform. Like I said, it's been years since I played this game, but I have beaten it multiple times, so it will come back to me uh, as we play. Like, And I've already made it clear that I do remember a lot of the stuff, so... This is such a great game. I can't wait to just... I'm so happy to be uh, playing this again for you guys. And here, here's, a, here's our first strike opportunity. There we go. I don't know if I'll be able to do the input command. Oh, I can. Okay, I can. So you can still time it and, uh, yeah. Also, that guy was carrying an item. And I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I think we get that item. I think he drops it when he dies. Nope, okay, he didn't drop it. Uh, sometimes they do, though. I believe. All right, so, so we got the guy right here. I can get him too. We got him with a hammer. Now, normally you wouldn't be able to hit this guy with a hammer, but since we did it in the field, we were able to hit him. Uh, also, I won't do this for a very long time, but I'm sure much, like much later in the game, I'll have times where I'll skip the fights um, because at a certain point, I'm sure it'll become mon monotonous for you guys and. Uh, you know, okay, so I got an, an item. Uh, revives health. Pretty straightforward. I think I can use that on the field, too. I don't have to do that in battle. Um, but as I was saying about skipping the fights, I'm not going to do that for any time soon. And I will always show fights of enemies that, like, we haven't seen before. But, uh, like, much, much later in the game when segments come where it's just going to be a lot of fights against random enemies. I don't think, uh, I mean, I'll, sa I'll save that speech for when that time comes. But, uh, yeah, don't even worry about that. Got a fire flower, attacks all enemies with fireballs and burns them. This is one of the better items in the game, honestly. If you feel like dealing with a, gr a bunch of enemies at once and not having to just draw it out. Okay, so we can't go through here. Uh, where do we go? So there's certain abilities that- oh, okay, I, can, I can smash those. I thought those were like the giant blocks, but no, you can break those. Good to know. Yeah, these are the, this is the one I was thinking of. You can't break this with this hammer. Okay. Well, two things happened there. An enemy came at us, and a little creature kind of crawled through that hole. Wonder what that's all about. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this enemy is very annoying. I don't think he'll die from two either. I think it's three. Let's go ahead and use a tattle on him. I 
That's a spi uh, spinia. A totally weird creature made of thin papery boards. It certainly it, it certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, defense is 0. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee <laughs> Uh Have I mentioned Gumela's awesome? She is definitely one of the coolest companions in Mario, uh, Paper Mario history. Not that the newer games have partners. That's a rant I'm sure I'll get to. Uh, by the way, I'm recording this just like a week or two after they announced uh, the brand new Origami King Paper Mario game. And uh, that's kind of the reason I wanted to do this now, was that, uh, you know, as people go and play that game, if it turns out to suck, kind of like the more recent Paper Mario games have, then this will be out there to remind people that there was a time when this series was magnificent. Um, like, this game is adored by everyone who's played it. It's just simply one of the best games ever. Ooh, okay, that was kind of fast, but I was able to block it. Sweet. Alright, let's go finish this guy off. Okay. There's a key up there. I'm sure we'll need to get that pretty soon, I think. Also, just like the charm of this game, I love how it's like... It's a paper world... But they only really kind of do paper stuff when it's kind of for fun. Like, it isn't, it's not always in your face. And I think that's something that's kind of been a thing in the newer Paper Mario games, where everything literally has to be a paper joke, a paper prop, like something. But this game, like, if you look around, it's all pretty normal except for stuff like that. So I was kind of like that. Whoa! <clears throat> hey, you! Yeah, can you hear me? You can? Wow, that must mean you're the hero of legend! Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this... box. <laughs> I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. <laughs> I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? <laughs> the writing's also just so good at this game. Oh, yeah, searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely going to need my help if you want to get those bad boys. So, first you should look for the key to this box, then use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Well, I know my vote goes to finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Alright, well, I don't think we have much of a choice. We seem to be at a dead end in every other area, so might as well get the key. I just love the writing where <laughs> the professor's like, oh, Durat. <laughs> uh... I'm so happy to be playing this game again. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He brought the key! Yes. Oh man, are you big? Yes. Thank... Ha! Thank nothing. Wee! <laughs> Fools. Uh-oh. Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you! What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm going to spread a little of suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm going to cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Buggly wuggly woo, you're cursed. Wee <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y, in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee Oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough. I guess uh, so I'll explain Wait, this curse is pretty rough, I guess. So uh, I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then bam, you're a paper airplane.
The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way. But that's the only good thing. So, be honest, isn't this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? <laughs> I zoned out. Uh, actually, I don't want to repeat it, so... Yes, I get it, it's terrible. Whee! If you press B, you might return to normal. Maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool. Whee! Oh, gosh. So, uh... Wow. Just wow. What was that guy's beef? So, as we're going to be seeing throughout the game, that guy puts a quote-unquote curse on us. Uh, which actually does more good than harm. Actually, it doesn't do like any harm. This is all good. Uh, which is kind of great for us. Like you said, these panels. Airplane mode, baby. Tilt left and right. Pretty simple, straightforward. And just click B or land on the ground to turn back to normal. Uh, we're going to be using that a lot throughout the game. But, uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, Mario, Goombella, look! Look at that! It's a thousand year door, spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are true. There it is, big as life. Come on, let's move closer. Yep, there it is, folks. That is the thousand year door, the name of this game. Hey, what's the deal? Hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? Let's go find out. Professor, what's going on? I have the power. Yeah. Woo. I have the power. I'm kidding. I don't know what I'm. I don't even know what I'm doing. Glowing map on my pants. It's levitating out of my body. So you know. Weirdness. Boom, baby. The first star location has been revealed. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? Hmm... It appears that information related to the locations of the crystal stars appeared. And that shining light... It looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we shall return to my place and study the map closely. Cool! Can't wait to jump into this adventure once more. One of the greatest games of my childhood. Hmm, aha, I see. You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining in Mario. My reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it, well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Yeah, sure. We'll show it off. Excellent. In that case, we'll go outside since this place is a little cramped. First, take a close look at your star power gauge. You'll see that your gauge has no power dot. has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of power star, or star power. With me so far? When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. Let's go for it. <clears throat> this one's pretty straightforward. You just kind of fling stuff. You want to watch out for the, the sickly looking mushrooms. 
And it's a pretty good way to, in a, in a tight spot, to sort of heal up. Uh, you waste time if you hit one of those ugly mushroom things. So I got four uh, flower power, six health for Mario, and four for Goombella. Since you used one power dot, the power, the star power gauge is now empty. Take a look. Even if the gauge empties out, though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battles is so very important. If you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean, Mario Goombella. Try to attack me, please. <laughs> Beat the crap out of your professor? Man, that's like a student's dream come true. Go for it, Goombella. Bing bong. And that builds up power. Nice, see that? You thrilled your audience so they filled up some- wait. See that? You thrilled your audience so they filled up some of your gauge. <clears throat> so that's what- that's the really cool element of Paper Mario. When you're fighting, you have a crowd of people who watch you and cheer you on and react like as if you're on a play, like hence the curtains and stuff around, which is great. Um, and they actually have a part to play in the battle itself, not to mention when you do a move, like you have to like time your jumps, aim the cursors, things like that. Just there's so much to the battle system of this game. It just makes it so much fun and, and this is a great time. And look, more people came in. Nice, keep building up that star power. Also, the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch you fight. As you can see, that's reflected in the number of members in this audience. I think it maxes out at a uh, hundred, I think. But I think it might vary based on the type of like auditorium, I think. All kind of rusty. Mario, this is your chance to hit it big. Oh yeah, the lottery thing. Nail an action command when you have two matching icons and icon wheels appear. Give it a try. I don't know if you're always supposed to land that, but I got bingo. Yeah, it's really helpful to get, and it brings in the crowd, so you definitely want to land those. Your HP and FP star power, okay. Fantastic, you match three icons. When you match those icons, the crowd goes nuts and people swarm to the theater. Plus, depending on the icons you match up, your HP, FP, or star power will fill up. But if you get three poison mushrooms, something terrible will happen, so be careful. Still with me? The more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal commit, uh, 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 the appeal command to get star power. I hope you memorized all this. Oh, that guy in the, the audience has an item. Great Goomba's ghost, Mario! Look at your audience! Does that guy have a hammer? Does he- do He does! The bum! He means to toss it at you! If the audience members hit you with anything, you'll take damage, obviously. You have to press X to stop them before they hit you. It's just another great layer of this battle system. It's just awesome. That's right, sweet justice. You can press X to protect yourself from the objects the audience throws at you. Of course, fans of yours might toss good stuff like coins. Don't attack them. Well, that's all I've got. Here ends my sc scintillating lecture on special moves. Let's go back inside. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow, astounding! This map has radar-like functions, and now shows the location of a crystal star! It looks like the very first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. The Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up time to time in my research. Okay, fine. So we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travels efficient. Efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach... This wouldn't be her, would it? I wish I could speak in images. So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. 
I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. All right, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the Crystal Stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that, and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Okay. We have a clear goal in mind. We have the tools at our disposal. Wait a, wait just a moment. I guess not all the tools. You got a power, you got powers. <laughs> Detroit smash! <laughs> a hammer, a single enemy using lots of attack power. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badge you have equipped, it'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? No, it's really easy. Am I absolutely sure? Yes. You need flower power to use uh, power smash move. In battle, you should watch only your HP but your FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to Petal Meadows. Cool. Well, we know where to go now. Gotta go down there and uh, find the pipe to Petal Meadows. I think we do know where it is, but uh, first and foremost, I'm gonna save the game. I think this will be a great organic spot to end this first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the Let's Play so far. I can't wait to dive into this game. It's a lot of fun. And uh, this adventure is definitely a colorful, joyful, action-packed, heroic one. And uh, I'm really happy to be sharing that with you guys. So until next time, this has been Mighty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.